Airway resistance is a term that refers to the measurement of impedance to the movement of air through the respiratory tract during the breathing cycle. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, airway resistance refers to the amount of resistance to the flow of air through the airways of the lungs during inspiration and expiration. Physiologically speaking, in the trachea, airway resistance is responsible for turbulent airflow. In the bronchi and bronchioles, it's responsible for laminar airflow in which the air flows more smoothly towards the alveoli so that gas exchange can occur. If a patient has an increased airway resistance, this can result in air trapping, which limits gas exchange and can lead to respiratory failure in severe cases. A common example of this is seen in patients with COPD. The biggest factor of airway resistance is the diameter of the airway. If the diameter increases, this means that the airways have opened up, which results in less airway resistance. However, if the diameter decreases, it means that the airways are constricted, which results in more airway resistance. As previously mentioned, Asthma is an obstructive lung condition that causes increased airway resistance due to chronic inflammation of the conducting airways. During an acute exacerbation of asthma, as the airways become more narrowed, the patient will show signs of dyspnea, wheezing, chest tightness, and air trapping in the distal segments of the lungs. In such a case, certain medications may be administered to reduce airway resistance and open up the airways. Some examples include albuterol or other short-acting beta-2 agonists, ipotropium or other anticholinergic agents, and inhaled corticosteroids, which typically help to prevent episodes from occurring. Again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.